2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Valero Texas Open. Today's coverage is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player's trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Well, I tell you what, they, uh, they've gotten a lot out of their game up to this point in time. They're either going to have to get more out of it, but if they continue playing the way they are and the short game fails them, let's face it, they're going to go tumbling down the leaderboard. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. And let's see what he can do here today. Time for the second shot into the first. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. And a fantastic look upcoming. Currently 15 under par for the event. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Straight away for the most part, but there's a lot of danger both right and left here. The fairway bunkers down the left-hand side shouldn't really cause an issue. However, the second shots, the layup zone, there is a deep bunker on the right-hand side that could be brought into play. The third shot is to a green perched well above the fairway, and it's actually a double green. This green is also part of the seventh green. Rich, if players are long enough uh, and adventurous enough, they can go for this green in two. How hard's the approach? The green sits well above the player, so getting it home in two and actually stopping it on the green, that's a tall order except for the players that are the longest in the game. Anything coming up short left is a deep bunker. But to be fair, though, that's not a bad miss. Anything, however, going long, though, can be. The bunker behind the green is really, really ugly. Oh, what an eagle. Great putt. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. You really hope that the wind is not blowing into your face on this tee shot and making it that much more difficult and longer. This green is perched up high. There's runoffs all around the left-hand side and the back portion of it, and obviously you want no part of coming up short. Players that find this green will find it difficult to two-putt as there's lots of humps and bumps and swales in it. Three feet to go here to the hole. And well hold. Let's move on. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. off here at the fourth. That's some good golf right there. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. Getting ready to play their third. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Such soft hands. Our leader is enjoying a three stroke advantage. Next hole is a short par four. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Oh, 
Oh, Luke, that was a stonker there. Oh, I love seeing stuff like that. That a way to stay aggressive. Great play. Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? I've been all around this, tried to read it, just can't see it, but he's got about 22 feet. They'll be soaring high if this goes in. This one for Eagle. Ooh, right by the hole. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. He's sharing 13th place. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. I'm pretty sure this play will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Players must find the fairway, avoiding that bunker down the right-hand side. But from there, second shot is up the hill to a green that runs away from the players ever so slightly. But still, going in with a short iron into this par four, a birdie is definitely makeable. Second shot here on the sixth. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Just didn't drop. And that should secure the par on this one. He's in a share of 15th. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. Trailing by seven after that hole. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Well, that's a handy shot. Second shot here on the eighth. Great shot. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Surely it's going to. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Our current leader is up by three shots. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Not a single bunker on this hole. Tee shot is fairly straightforward. Just hit it straight, find the center of the fairway. The second shot, however, gets a little interesting as this green is very deep, not very wide. 
Big runoff areas on both sides of this green. A par here is a solid number. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. This one is chewing fiber. Yeah, nicely played. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. This one's looking good. And that will drop in for a birdie. Trailing by four strokes. We have a par four on this one. Generous driving area on this downhill par four that dog legs slightly from left to right. Second shot will be back up the hill to a green that's well protected by three bunkers. This is a good birdie opportunity if you find the fairway. That's a big drive. Second shot here at the 10th. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Outstanding approach shot. Birdie at the last. This for another. And that finds him in a share of second. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Tee shots must be placed on the left-hand side to get the best view and angle for their second shots as this green sits below the player and moves from left to right. Tee shots down the right might be closer, but it's going to leave a sh second shot over a deep bunker and making it that much more difficult to get close. That was wonderfully done. And he's down there. And from around 135 yards. This should play. Oh, right by the hole. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. Just a short putt remaining here. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. He's currently just in second place. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Playing from around 110 yards out. Two strokes off the lead. Choosing the 9 iron here. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. He's found the surface. Good chance here. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole.
They say the 13th is an unlucky number, but I don't see it for you. The tea is yours. Oh, well done. And this part to move into a share of first place. Looking really good, this one. That's inside the range. And that makes him tied for first. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Rich going for this green in two. Uh, plenty of sand there to mess with your golf ball. It requires accuracy. There's no doubt about that. There are bunkers both right and left that can certainly gobble up your golf ball if you get a little bit offline. Anything missing a little bit long and left, however, though, that is a good spot to miss it. That's a super shot. That's another green in regulation. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This one's tracking. Beautiful shot. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got... I'd say a solid 145 here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Well, that's beautifully judged. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. Leading by three strokes now. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A larger green than the sixth, but bunkers galore. Watch out for the one right in the middle. Well, this one's going right at the flag. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for birdie. Hey, that's a chance. Well done. Take the birdie. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Our leader is up by four shots now. Let's see what happens here at the 17th.
Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. Moments like that deserve another look. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And now striding to the final tee of this round. Lovely effort, that. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Eight feet to the cup. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played.